Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable Salesforce Survey's advanced features within Salesforce. So this actually took me a very long time to figure out. <laughs> um, I was trying to figure out Salesforce mapping for surveys and then I realized I needed this license. So I'm currently in a trailhead or a playground org and so this will work but you do need to have the uh, feedback management license in order to enable these in your production org. So just keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll show you how to do that. First thing, let's go ahead and go into setup. And then from here, I do wanna show you that you do need to have surveys enabled. So I've already enabled it. Um, it's just surveys. Um, and then yeah, it should be toggled on or you should toggle it on there. And then let's go ahead and jump into permission sets because that's how we will enable these advanced features. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new permission set and label this surveys, advanced features, just to make it really clear what this is for. We could add a description, but because I'm the only one that accesses this org, I'm not gonna add a description, but if you have multiple admins and you don't always communicate, then please add a description. I'm going to hit save. All right, and then let's go ahead and search for the setting for uh, surveys. Advanced features it is Salesforce surveys advanced features. And it is under system permissions. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this. And we can go ahead and let's go ahead and surveys. Actually, let's search for advanced. All right, and go ahead and toggle that on. Quick tip, if you are doing a lot of permission sets, use the Command or Control F feature to be able to search for the specific permission if you know the label of the permission that you're searching for. Makes things go by a lot faster. I'm gonna hit save. All right, and then I am gonna save again. It's just giving me a per, like an overview of the permissions. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and manage assignments, assign this to myself, and then we'll go double check that we have added this to ourselves. So I'm gonna go here, next. Um, you could set this up as an expiration for assigned users, but I don't want this to expire, so I'm gonna just click assign. Quick note of expiring permissions, super great if you're setting up someone for like maternity leave or if you're setting someone up for replacing someone else's job for a limited amount of time, give them a little extra permission until that date is come. So it'll automatically remove those permissions after the set amount of time that you have um, set. So I'm gonna click done here. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to my first tab. Refresh this, go into the three by three search for surveys. All right, I'm gonna just test this on the customer satisfaction survey template. Open it. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, and we do have advanced settings here, yay. All right, we can do data mapping, merge fields, um, and then look at some other stuff. That is how you enable advanced features or advanced settings for your Salesforce surveys. Again, you do need to have the uh, feedback management license is what I believe it's called in order to have access to these advanced features like data mapping and merge fields and using some data types, I think like uh, matrix questions is one of them. But with that being said, I hope that you found this video helpful. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. You can check out the courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.